To add an IP camera, that's an OnViv camera, first what you should do is right click anywhere in the quadrants and go to registration. Or you can go to main menu, camera, registration. Here you'll see a device search menu. When you hit device search, what the NVR does is it searches out for compatible cameras to add. Here it's found two choices. In this video, we're concerned about the first one here. So it shows us that an OnViv camera with this IP address, which happens to be on the same network as this NVR has showed up and it's port 2000. So if it's a compatible OnViv camera that's been approved to work with our NVR and DVR, all you need to do is check this and hit add. Granted, its username and password is just simply admin, admin. And it will add the camera in here on the bottom. You'll have it appear. And as you can see, there's a video coming from it. Some cameras may not appear on the search menu when you hit device search. They can't be sniffed on the network, so you would have to use the manual add option. And here now we'll show you how to use the manual add option to add an on Vive camera. Once you hit manual add, you'll be presented with a choice of what channel to add the camera to and what manufacturer to select. Here you have different choices. We will be selecting OnViv as the manufacturer because that's the method, driver, or manufacturer name, whatever you want to call it. You can name the camera. Some cameras will allow you to name them when you add them and some won't. So in this case, I'll name it Test. Let's see if it shows up. It all is variable on the OnViv implementation on the camera itself and how it talks to this NVR. Now I will add an IP address of 1.88. You would have to know your IP address for your camera that you'd like to add. I already know beforehand what's the IP address of my camera because I set it on there. You would need to set your camera appropriately to the same network as the NVR. Now this is being done through the LAN port on the NVR, not through the PoE switch in, built in. A PoE switch would have that's built into the NVR would have an IP address of 10.1.1.x. So you would have to set your camera appropriately to that IP address. This video only covers connection of OnViv cameras over the network. RTSP port, I'm going to leave what it is by default. Now this setting for HTTP port will depend on the make and model of your OnViv camera. In my camera, it happens to be 2000. If I left it at 80, it will not connect or cause issues. Check with the manufacturer of your IP camera or the vendor to figure out what port number should be used for OnViv. Username should be admin and password in my case is admin, you would have to use whichever you have. And what channel you're getting. And um, this we leave as default. We leave this as default too. One usually refers to the mainstream on the camera. Hit connect, hit apply, hit okay. Here we've got video from that camera. Now it was manually added. And notice that it still says camera name front. If I try to edit the camera name, it is dependent on the camera whether it will take it or not. I don't see it being changed here, but in my own NVR's registration of this camera, it has changed but did not propagate it over to the on screen display or timestamps or whatever you want to call it on the video feed itself. Thank you for watching.